In this section, I'm going to talk about the uh, smart switch or smart join button that you see me use often. Uh, with, a, with the default cube selected, press K and our menu will pop open. Now, I, you've seen me turn off these buttons, the guides and the confirm actions, and you also always see me click smart join like this. So if you're wondering what actually that does is why you're watching this section. So let's say we leave the rest as is and press enter, adjust your camera. Uh, our first moves will be cutting, press K. So as you can see, nothing so radically different here. Now let's expand the menu here and let's switch to union mode. Now when I did that, of course, this last shape that I thought I cut was actually popped back up because it's union mode. I, I pressed uh, union mode before I applied it. So let's go back to difference, press K again to set it and then switch to union mode. And let's draw a few more shapes now. Let's draw something like this because I can't draw. <laughs> I can, but I won't. <laughs> now, take a look at this here. When I turn off Smart Join, and of course I should switch to Perspective Camera. Watch as I turn on and off Smart Join. See what's happening, other than the colors changing, is these extra edges being added. So when the Smart Join is off, this applied as a regular additive boolean or union boolean. But if I turn on smart join, the object is still inserted, but it's not actually booleaned with the main object. It's simply joined. Uh, if we turn off the X-ray, you can see that the rest of it is still intact. Now let's turn on smart join, turn it on and off. See the difference? So, and if you're wondering why I prefer to do this, because it avoids adding some unnecessary geometry. And it also acts as a semi non destruct working method because this object, although it's joined, it's still intact as it was the way we have drawn it. And I can further uh, manipulate it afterwards. So let's press K and set this object. And uh, Let's say that we want to work on these uh, edges or points. Uh, switch to object mode, select the object, and press tab to go to edit mode. And now if you click on one of these points and press L to select all the linked points, and let's turn on the X-ray again. And you will be selecting this part without selecting the rest of the object, uh, which is great because that's exactly what we wanted. So I can press G, G to move this around or rotate or scale as if I was in a non-destructive working mode. And then when I go back to object mode, here you are. So this is the advantage. And if this suits your needs, by all means, I recommend using it. Um, the only disadvantage with this mode is that uh, when you apply a bevel operator, these join areas will not be beveled properly or at all. Uh, let me show that. If you click on this, it is a bevel operator actually already applied by the add-on. If you turn it on, you can see that there is no bevel there. But if these were boolean, where would they have been? So that's the only disadvantage. As I said, if this meets your needs, by all means, I recommend using it. Um, the other thing about Smart Join is that it only applies to union mode. If you're coloring the object using the difference or uh, intersect mode, then the booleans will behave as usual. So, that's all. Thank you for watching and see you next time.